The end of World War II and the start of a tiny Catholic college in the steel mill boomtown of Steubenville. Baseball, football, and basketball with a team led by young coach Hank Kuzma who had a talented roster of players but few resources and no home court. Practice at Madonna, practice at Catholic Community Center, Millsop Community Center. Actually, uh, the Catholic Community Center was a little bit dark at that time and I had the ball painted white because I wanted the guys to see it. Some of my players still today tease about the albino basketball, probably the only one that ever existed. In 1955, the team came home to a hero's welcome after making their first appearance in the NAIA Regional Basketball Tournament in Kansas City. In the spring of 1958, the Barons overcame impossible odds and a lack of national recognition to forge a 24-1 record and earn the title number one small college basketball team in the USA by the United Press International Board of Coaches. And we beat Tennessee State, which was a national champion the year before, and we were the number one small college team in the country at that time. In the 1980s, intercollegiate athletics were put on hiatus while the school built itself into a nationally known Catholic university with a new name, Franciscan University of Steubenville. By 2001, intercollegiate athletics returned, first with a rugby team, and in 2007, with the launching of a full-fledged NCAA Division III program under the rallying cry, the Barons are back. When you step on onto the floor, it, um, it's just like a rush of adrenaline. And I found out that Franciscan had Division III athletics and I could play basketball and grow in my faith. That was a really big sign for me to come to this school. I cannot sit in class all day and then not do anything afterward. And so joining sports was easily the best decision I'd ever made. <laughs> Guided by the tenets of faith, virtue, knowledge, and self-control as proclaimed by St. Peter, the Barron teams quickly established themselves on the NCAA scene with repeat conference championships in men's and women's cross country. First ever national NCAA cross country championship appearance by a Franciscan student athlete. Three sweet 16 appearances for the rugby team and a number one ranking over 150 small colleges in the USA and numerous scholar-athlete and all-academic team awards. The Barons have come a long way from albino basketballs and driving around town looking for a practice court. Today, nearly 300 student-athletes play on 14 teams, and there's more to come. Fall 2012 heralds the debut of two more Barron teams, men's and women's lacrosse, and plans are in the works for a new turf field and a much-needed expansion to Finnegan Fieldhouse. All this should leave no one in doubt. The Barons are indeed back. We really get to bring this little college of 2,500 students onto this national level. We're playing for ourselves, but more importantly, for the greater glory of God.